W -w Welcome to my eighth Q&A video. Today, I will be answering you guys' questions, even though there's so little. I wish people would ask me some more questions, but three or four is okay. But I do wish there's more for the next Q&A, because this Q&A is going to be pretty awesome. I've already read some of the questions, and they're pretty decent to very good. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. All right. Let's ask the oldest question, like usual, which is belongs to hmm. Jacob the Turtle. Number one, what's your favorite movie in the Halloween franchise? It's a tie between Halloween the original and Halloween the remake. Number two, what's your favorite disaster film? I'm not a big disaster fan, as I just stated in my um, Into the Storm trailer reaction and review for the second trailer video. Uh, I do like some disaster films. My favorite one would have to be Twister, though, because um, that's the one I grew up watching. Number three, what are your thoughts on the Grindhouse movies, Planet Terror and Death Proof? Death Proof. I've only seen Planet Terror, and that was a disgusting masterpiece. Next up, we have Bryce Cope. He has a lot of questions. Alright. He says, Hi Bryce, what's your favorite Hi, it's Bryce, is what he never mind. What's your favorite Lake Placid movie? It's uh the first one. And rank the Blade movies. I've only seen the first and the third. I should have seen the second, I own it. But I'd have to say the first one was pretty decent. And favorite Puppet Master movie? Probably the third. I've only seen up to part six though. Also, would you win Blade or uh, from Puppet Master or Chucky? I would win Blade because he's pretty awesome and Chucky kind of creeps me out. Blade creeps me out more. And favorite Anaconda movie? Um, the first. It's it's it was a hard one to come by. I was it's really hard to choose between the, between the first and the second. The third and fourth I've always enjoyed, but the first and second were like the best ones. And um, it's really hard for me to decide, but I'm gonna have to go with the original. Um. A favorite state uh, where I live, Massachusetts. And where do you work? I've already answered this. It's Price Shopper. <laughs> and what's your favorite scary stories? Scary stories type of movie, like an anthology, you mean? And also least favorite. I'd have to say, like, I've I've seen some of ABCs of Death. And I didn't really enjoy it, so that's definitely my least favorite. But my favorite anthology kind of film, or story wise, would have to be VHS. Um, oh, no, it's also least favorite Halloween movie, and least, okay, least favorite Halloween movie, probably Halloween, no, it's definitely Halloween Resurrection, and least favorite Outpost movie, I haven't seen any of the Outposts, have you seen Evil Ed, no, but I've heard of it, also, have you seen Lone Survivor, no, favorite cheesy ripoff of Jaws, the Last Shark. And also favorite favorite German horror movie. I don't know if I've actually ever seen a German horror film. I'll have to look into that. Um, also, least favorite fruit. Favorite type of pizza. My least favorite type of fruit would have to be... Uh, I don't know. Um, pickles? I don't know if that's a fruit or a vegetable. I think it's a vegetable. Anyways, I don't really know. Um, favorite type of pizza? Pepperoni and sausage. Favorite type of Chinese food? China food. Uh, spare ribs or pan for noodles? I can't decide which. And favorite horror movie mask? Mine's Jason, and that is mine's too. That's mine as well. What's your? What's yours? Oh, okay. And do you know what I cup means? Yes, I do, and I'm not going to spell it out like you asked. And who would win, Jason or Michael Myers? I'm going to have to say Jason, because he's, like, immortal, but he's also a zombie, and he has superpowers. Michael has some superpowers, I guess. He's super strong. Um, all right, and the last question is from Matt Dean. He asks, number one, what's your top ten favorite killers of all time list? What's my list? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I actually wrote a list before I made this video. Number 10, and I came up with some funny things, okay? So, number 10, Deep Blue Sea's The Samuel Sandwich. Oh, such a good sandwich. Samuel Jackson Sandwich. <coughs> uh, favorite, number 9, is uh, Friday the 13th, Annie and Jack's Death. I can't decide which one's better. So, Annie got her throat slit, and Jack got the arrow through his throat, and those are both really good effects. I do like Marcy's Death, but it's not as good as the other two, I don't think. Um, the Tetris Chainsaw Massacre, Kirk Killed. When it, that just came out of nowhere. Like, it's like... 
And then you hear the pigs in the background, and you're like, oh, it's so gross. Uh, VHS, VHS 2's Birth of a Demon, um, where the girl was uh, pregnant, and the demon, the giant goat demon, comes and pierces through her stomach and climbs out. It's disgusting. Piranaconda's Threesome. Eats three people at once. That is pretty cool. Um, Tasmanian De Devil's Lisbon's death. Because that was actually the most shocking death I've seen in a very long time. Especially from a Savage Channel film. Lisbon's trying to hide from the Tasmanian Devils. And her boyfriend calls her over the radio. He just knows that she's hiding. And they hear it. And they grab her. And then the boyfriend comes over and he sees her getting pulled in half. And it's just a s shocking, sad, and disgusting death. Uh, number four is Planet of Dinosaurs, Death of Darina. Uh, because I grew up watching that movie so many times, and that one always came as most shocking. Like, whoa, you're killing, you killed off one girl in the 70s movie, Dinosaur movie, which is not really heard of. But now you're killing off two, and I like this one. Now, number three is Jaws, Quint's death. It's more, it's my favorite death over Alex Kinder. Um, that's my second favorite. And my third favorite would have to be Chrissy Watkins. And then my fourth favorite would have to be, uh, the guy in the, the karate teacher on the red, red boat. Um... And, uh, what's his name? Sh Overman or something. I don't really remember. Shelby Overman. Uh, he was, uh, eaten and then they just find his head. But Quinn's death is so memorable. And I grew up watching that scene over and over. And number two is Hatchet's face rip. My god, that's such a cool death. It's like, you see the whole thing getting ripped. Number one is Day of the Dead's Chogonum! Chogonum! Oh my god, that was a disturbing death, and um, it's actually, uh, there's two of my favorite, the number one is a two-parter, because my other favorite death from that is the guy gets hit ripped off and his vocals change because they're playing with his vocal cords, his sound changes, it's disgusting. Anyways, those are the three questions, thank you for, wait, is it three or four? Let me see, one, two, three, yeah, uh, yeah, those are the three questions that people have asked, and I am very happy that I've been able to answer them for you guys. But I do wish there was more. So, let's get some more questions. And, over no, not overall, huh? It's not a movie review or a trailer reaction. It's my Q&A. So, lie and bring out a host of horror show movie reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below. And so, leave comments and subscribe.